Hey everyone, it's Carlo, Carlo Libertini here. In this Melodyne 4 video, I'm going to show you how to align the grid, Melodyne's editing workspace, to match any audio that you're importing. Sometimes Melodyne doesn't know exactly where beat one bar one is, and you have to tell it so. So I'll show you how to do that really quickly. This is a really handy technique. The first thing I'll do here is import a couple of demo files. Now I prepared a couple of clips in advance. Let me just select them and bring them up to the tracks pane. And there they are. All right, let's take a listen. Basically, we've got kick, overhead left, right, snare, and toms. Now this is straight recording right off the board. Let's take a listen. There's a there's a buildup in the song. And listen to where beat one bar one might fall. So right now, Melodyne's telling me beat one bar one here is somewhere in the beginning, but I heard it right here at B2 bar four. Take a listen. I'll take it from uh, bar three again. Okay, so what we're going to do is tell Melodyne properly where the kicking of that song is. And the way to do that, one thing I like to do is select focus on these tracks and populate them in my editing window. Now you don't have to do this, you can just select one track, it works just fine. But I wanted to show you what percussion looks like in Melodyne's editing window. Now this is layers of audio. There's no pitch or melody information here relative to this waveform, it's just percussion. So to see overlapping audio, keep in mind that down here in the lower right corner, we have a spread unison button. As I toggle it, there, all this is presenting to you is the overlapping audio. Has nothing to do with pitch at all. Just audio. There we go. Now, in order to tell Melodyne where B1 bar 1 is, let's come up here under the tempo controls. And right next to the identified tempo here, 128.10, we see that this is a free feel song here, which means the tempo is going to vary a little bit over time. I'll select Edit Tempo from the drop down, and here you'll see that the Edit Tempo workspace is now populated here in the editing window. Let's zoom in a little bit more, closer to that bar four that we're looking for. And it's as easy as this. Now, Melanine's identifying beat one right here, somewhere at the beginning of the song. Watch as I move my cursor over, how it changes right there. See that? It has the left and right arrows with the vertical line. Just select beat one bar one and now drag it and you'll see how it's snapping to the grid. And all we have to do is properly identify where beat one bar one is. I think it was right about there. Let's take a listen. And it's as easy as that. Now all you have to do is deactivate editing tempo by selecting the drop down box. And there you go. Now we're right on time. We know exactly where our, our beat one bar one is. Why is this important? Well, now we know exactly where the downbeat is for the kicking of the song. If you're importing other wave files, you'll know exactly how where it is relative to the beginning of the song. And let's do that. Notice I have my auto stretch activated here. This is important because when I import files, I want it to match the tempo. What Melodyne will do is, is it'll intelligently auto stretch audio to correctly align with this moving tempo. Really amazing stuff. All right, let's uh, grab a bass track. Here we go. Here's a perfect one to work with. And let me drag this into the tracks pane. And you see that's imported. And there we have it. Now, I know this session, I remember this. So here we have a little bit of a build build up and a kick in right here. I'm going to select the audio and you'll see how it's snapping to the downbeats. All I need to do is bring in that kick in right there. And if I hold my option key down on a Mac or alt on a Windows machine, I can do it free feel like this. So there's a lot of flexibility there. So let's say that's it. All right, let's take a listen now. I'll lower the volume on the bass track just a little bit. And we'll take it from beat one, bar two. We have Melodyne's metronome, I should mention also. I can toggle this on and off by clicking it, 
We can drag this up and down to adjust the volume of the metronome. There, now let's see that with the metronome. There you go. Now you got a handy little tip. If you're ever in a situation where this should happen, is an easy way to contour your audio to match Melodyne's editing workspaces. My name's Carlo Libertini, and thanks for watching.